So I want to kick things off right off the bat and say a quick update that LinksDAO is uh, getting very close to acquiring our first course. Uh, we've identified two really good potential options in the southeastern United States. Uh, Bez gave a great update last night in our community Tuesday. You can find that in the recording section on our Discord for those updates. And if you are one of the members who has filled out the course scouting application, you will likely be hearing from us soon about a visit to uh, scout these courses with uh, some pretty well-known architects in the golf space, as well as our partner Kemper Sports, uh, to get some feedback and see if we should be proceeding with uh, buying one of these two awesome golf courses. So looking forward to that. Um, but the reason we're all here today is because we have the spinning leisure and global memberships at this time. They're cool. I can't wait to get a physical card of one one day, but they don't make great PFPs. Um, no offense, Dom. I see you up here with your, uh, your global membership PFP. Uh, so we're excited to announce the Lynx champions. Uh, this will be Lynx Dow's first and likely only official PFP project. Uh, these are golf trophies that have come to life. But to talk a little bit more about the story, I want to turn it over to Jordan. Awesome. Can you hear me, Cooper? Just want to make sure before I jump into this. You sound great. Can you hear me? You can hear me, right? Yeah, I can hear yeah, you. Yeah, there we okay. go. Cool. Yeah, you sound great. Perfect. Nice. Love to hear it. Uh, so I'm going to walk you guys first through the story of the Lynx champions. If you'd like to follow along, go to the Lynx champions, Twitter account. There is a lot of imagery up there and artwork. And you can see, we just posted a brand new photo about five minutes before the spaces started. It was dusk at the Lynx clubhouse and a thunderstorm is rolling in late at night. When all the Lynx golfers and staff are gone, lightning strikes the clubhouse permeating through the walls into the club champions hallway that houses the trophy cases. Electricity strikes through the cases and into the trophies, bringing them to life. The trophies break free from their cases. They start marching towards the pro shop, which you can see on the Twitter champions account right now. They enter the pro shop. They remember that the staff and members of the course will not be back until the morning. So they have plenty of time to blend in and find clothing to blend in with the rest of the members. They search the pro shop, looking at hats, glasses, shirts, other accessories to use as disguises, right? Because all of the members will be coming back in the morning and they need to, to fit in. They just, they have, they can't just be trophies walking around the clubhouse. They notice a box left over from Halloween with fun outfits and costumes from a Halloween party earlier in the week. They adorn their favorite look and hit the links for a round of night golf with glow in the dark balls and flashlights. And now the former champions are members again at the Lynx club. That is the story of the Lynx champions. Amazing. Very, very fun stuff. Uh, if you are a member in the Discord, you've seen an art preview. We will be sharing more of those as the days come on. Uh, Monday, I believe, will be the first time that uh, the public will get a good look at the art. Um, and then we'll be sharing some of the rares, uh, the grails, potentially, uh, from the collection on Tuesday. Cooper, are you there? I cannot hear you if you are. Uh, give me a thumbs up uh, in chat if you can hear me, folks. Darn. Okay. okay. Make, can you guys hear Cooper? Yeah, we're getting thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay, perfect. It's just me then. Yeah. I'll go off, Mike. <laughs> You're good. Yeah, we're getting plenty of thumbs up. Okay. Uh, appreciate it. We don't want to get rugged by Twitter spaces. Um, but yeah, it's a really fun time. I can't wait to see, you know, a Twitter spaces where all of the PFPs are these links champions, these trophies uh, that day is coming soon. We will have a mint date announcement for you probably next week. Uh, no promises there, but really excited, but you may be asking yourself, um, Cooper, how do I as a links member 
get one of these PFPs. And I have great news for you. We are doing a snapshot of LinkStyle holders on this Friday, November 4th at 5 p.m. Eastern. So that will record the blockchain as it is at that date and time. And if you are holding a LinkStyle Leisure or global membership, uh, you will be eligible to mint in the first, earliest, most premier mint window, the earliest mint window. Uh, if you are not a holder, but you're interested in joining the Lynx community, uh, participating in the PFP, getting access to uh, some of the fun stuff that we're doing, some of our alpha chats, and uh, you know, just being part of one of the most fun, awesome communities in golf or the internet. You don't have to be a golfer, but uh, we, we encourage you to try the sport. It's a great one. We're all big fans. Um, you will be able to sign up for the allow list. The public allow list is currently linked on the Lynx Champions bio, and you can sign up there at any time. Um, but we also have a password-protected private allow list some alliteration there for you, uh, that you can get on uh, and join the preferred allow list. That is password protected. Um, if you were on the community call last night, you may know how to get the current password. Uh, but Jordan, if you're here listening to this call, how can people in this call uh, get that password today for a limited time? Uh, Jordan's joined from his other account. I'll spill the alpha. It's on our Instagram story. So all you have to do is go follow LinkStyle on Instagram. Uh, the link is there. The password is there. That password will be changing uh, within the next, I believe, eight hours. So if you want to get on the private allow list, head over to Instagram, grab that password, follow the account, and uh, get on the list. Um, another really important detail that I don't want to miss out is uh, this mint is going to be free for Link Style holders. So, um, you know, we're really excited to do something fun here, get the, these PFPs out to the community as we promised from, uh, you know, the early days in December and January is always one of our goals to get some cool art out to y'all. Uh, the spinning cards were an expediency measure right there at the beginning. But we're, we're really excited for uh, y'all to get this. And if you are a member, feel free to share uh, this password and the premium link with your golf friends, some of whom may have been like, ah, Link Style sounds cool, but I'm not necessarily sure. I want to put a bunch of money in crypto and buy a leisure or a global pass right now. This is a great opportunity to uh, get their foot in the door. Maybe it could be a great first NFT for, for some friends, a great way to be onboarded into the space and have some fun in link style um at following that pre-mint window the preferred allow list uh if there are any supplies remaining if any are available uh we will potentially go to a public mint phase uh where we are going to be allowing cross mint so that is a tool that allows people to mint with a credit or debit card so people who don't even want to create a wallet but are still excited about getting into link style uh, we, we do care about those folks. We want as many golfers as possible in the community. Uh, we're going to make that tool available if that if it does come to a public allow list phase. Um, uh, additionally, we are looking into ways, uh, as you may have seen our announcement, we have Connor McNamara on our team, uh, our new engineering lead. And uh, we're looking into ways in which we can allow people to buy a Link Style Leisure or Global NFT with credit or debit card. So exciting stuff coming up on that front, but uh, we're really stoked about the Champions Mint, uh, the story behind it, the awesome artwork. The team has done an incredible job. Shout out to Mr. Senor, to Patrick, to the art team uh, and the devs, everybody behind this. Uh, I'd love to open it up to questions. If anyone here in the chat wants to raise their hand, come up on stage, talk about the art, the collection, the mint. If you have any questions about that process, um, feel free to come up on stage and we can talk about it. But uh, it's going to be a really fun time. You know, this has been such an awesome community from the start uh, and adding PFPs into the mix, I think is going to be a really fun aspect for this project. Um, so we can all be rolling up to the golf course with our champions PFPs next year when it opens. So very stoked about that. Um, Jordan, do you have any other notes, anything else you'd like to add here today 
uh, about the champions. I know you're having some mic trouble or, or audio trouble. Fantastic. Well, uh, the tweets that Jordan referenced are up top, uh, the Lynx Champions account. Make sure you go and follow. Um, additionally, we're going to have uh, more spaces next week with some of our friends uh, from other communities and really looking forward to this rollout. Um, I guess since there are no questions, we've done a, a pretty good job of explaining what's going on here and uh, looking forward to that snapshot this Friday. Again, that's uh, November 4th. Um, oh, here come, here come the requests. Okay. Let's get it started. Um, Roland, how are you doing today? Hey, Coop, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I just had a quick question. I may have answered it uh, previously in the chat, but you mentioned that the snapshot is taken on Friday. Personally, I use a different wallet to mint things than the one that I hold my links to, um, membership in. Do I need to hook that wallet up to be taken in the snapshot? instead of the one that I used to mint? That is a great question, Roland. Um, we definitely respect security and uh, definitely want to make sure everyone keeps their, their wallets and their NFTs safe during this time. Um, we have set up a tool for Linkstown members who perhaps have a cold wallet or a hardware wallet that they don't want to use to mint in the Linkstown Discord. Uh, it's actually on the Clubhouse, but to access the link, it is... Uh, clubhouse.linksdow.io slash delegate. And if you type exclamation point delegate in the Discord, it will drop that link. Um, you can enter a hot wallet address uh, from into that field and it will take the wallet that you logged into Clubhouse with, remove that from our mint list and add your hot wallet in its place with the credit for the number of leisure or global NFTs or both that you have in your wallet. So if that makes sense, if if you do not want to mint from the wallet that holds your link style NFTs, you can delegate a minting wallet on Clubhouse. So that is a available tool um, that we've set up and you can access that in the Discord. I will tweet that link as well here soon. Great. Thanks. I'll check that out. Great question there. Um, next up, Baron, how's it going? Hey, how's it going, man? Uh, I, I joined a little late, so I don't, I don't know if I missed this. Um, I've also been a holder since since the last man. I love what you guys are doing uh, day by day. Um, is is there a mint date yet? Um, and also, are you, are you go? I, I got I got it at the end of it that you mentioned. Are you guys looking to collab with other projects during during your your roadmap down the next few months or? Yeah, so great question. Um, the mint date has not yet been announced, but I can tell you it will be in November. Um, okay. Yeah, so that mint date announcement will be coming soon. Um, but the snapshot is this Friday. As for collaborations, um, as many of you know, LinksDAO is partnered with some awesome names in the golf space. We have some really cool apparel partnerships. Uh, and we absolutely love uh, the folks that we're working with at companies like um, Callaway, Top Golf, Bridgestone, you know, across the board, uh, Five Iron, uh, just really great folks. So we're really interested in looking for ways uh, and we're in deep talks about ways to integrate uh, the PFP with these partnerships in the future down the line. Um, but we don't have any specific announcements on that yet. Uh, additionally, we are doing some partnerships with other uh, organizations in Web3. Uh, some of our friends who have launched projects uh, like Swag, Benardi, uh, you know, Malbin that we've talked to in our alpha chats, as well as some other projects uh, that are less sports and golf focused um, that are really excited to uh, participate in this mint. So we're having a great time uh, with that, but no details specifically on uh, what, magic may occur down the line with these pfps and uh some big golf brands gotcha well yeah that all sounds great my my last thing would that i would say is do you guys look to do any any golf trips or 
anything like that where it's a weekend trip of links Dow. What do you, what do you guys, what are your plans on that? Great question. Um, so as many of you may know, or remember, we have had a couple of awesome in real life golf events, uh, Austin, Texas for South by Southwest and FTNYC. Um, we're working on something probably a little bit more casual in Miami for Art Basel. Um, those details can be found in the link ups chat uh, on discord. And we are really excited about 2023 and meeting more of our members in person for golf trips, golf weekends, and uh, in particular opening day at the Link Stout course. Uh, as you know, we're dialed in and really focused right now as a whole team about acquiring this first golf course. Um, but part of our 2023 plan will be uh, you know, more in real life golf experiences. And our events pod is doing a great job of uh, setting up link ups in places like London, San Francisco, um, and kind of around the country and the world uh, for member organized events. So uh, if you're interested in playing with some links down members, you can also jump into the regional channels in Discord or schedule or set up a, uh, a link up with uh, and feel free to tag Ryan Prickett in the Discord. Um, he's also here in the chat. If you want to give us a wave, Ryan, if you're interested in doing a link up, uh, we can set that up. A hundred percent. Well, I mean, that's, it all sounds amazing. That's what it's all about. I'm, I'm currently working on a project that's minting in November too, called Lifestyle Dow, we're 24 seven concierge. So we're, we're big on the experiences and putting on these bespoke experiences. If it's uh, collabing with a golf trip or doing something in uh, St. Bart's or whatever it is. Uh, so I think there's definitely, I know you guys are doing a lot of collabs, um, so I would definitely keep that in mind. That's awesome, Baron. Thanks so much. We'll keep an eye out for that. Um, Eve, next up, how's it going? Yo, what's up, Coop? Hey, uh, sorry, I didn't quite hear. Did you say what the what the price of Mint was? It is free for members, so it's absolutely free for members. Also, the uh, the private allow list um, is also going to be a free Mint window, and the public price has not yet been announced. But uh, we're really excited to, you know, get these in the hands of members as well as uh, kind of expand our community. Uh, you know, the golf friends of members, the friends and family lists uh, that are available and out there uh, for our members to share. Um, we will continue offering opportunities to get on those lists. Um, but the best way to get on and get the opportunity uh, potentially for a free mint is to uh, talk to a link style member. So, uh yeah, it's uh, we're really excited to be offering this for free to the community. Yeah, I really like that we were doing this, and uh, honestly, I've I've sent uh, I've sent the link and and uh, and password for the friends and family to a couple friends who were a little bit you know on the fence about getting a golf pass. Boy, that was a cool noise. Um, they're on the fence of getting a golf pass, but uh, they really like the the PFP and. Um, they wanted to be a part of the experience and stuff like that. So that was really cool to see. They're not huge golfers, so but they, they admire the, <laughs> the project from a distance. But anyway. Sweet. Uh, yeah. Plus, that's that's also, what it's all about, man. Yeah, I sent it to my uh, my parents, too. And obviously, like, you know, they're like, oh, you know, Web3 stuff. But at the same time, like, they appreciate the art. My parents, <laughs> yeah. They're very parents like that, you know. <laughs> and, uh uh, at least for, for my boomer folks, but uh, I love them anyways for it. And, uh, but they really love the artwork and uh, I don't know, they wanted to be a part of the men experience, stuff like that. So it was kind of cool to bridge the, the family. Yeah. These uh, champions PFPs will make excellent Christmas presents um, <laughs> or, or, yeah. you know, Hanukkah, any holidays that you want to celebrate. <laughs> Uh, you know, birthdays, uh, these are, are a great gift to give to the golfer in your family who may not have a uh, Link Style Leisure or Global. Uh, Sir Pink, welcome to the stage. Hey, thanks Love for having me up. <clears throat> I just had a question I, back to the uh, uh, partnerships. Have you guys ever reached out to like Good Good Golf or some of those other uh, YouTube channels that, you know, have a million followers just to see if they could get on board? I know they're uh, the majority of their subscribers are, you know, probably under 26 years old. Just a thought I had. Yeah. So we've had some really good conversations um, behind the scenes with 
uh, folks in a number of those uh, kind of golf YouTube podcast groups, organizations. Um, so far, the, the uh, responses have been overwhelmingly positive. Um, most are really excited about what we're doing and how we're doing it, you know, being community first. Uh, so, you know, we're definitely stoked to, uh, you know, explore more potential collaborations with organizations like Good Good or other golf podcasts. If uh, anyone here on the call is uh, on one of those teams or interested in doing a collaboration or, or working closer together, feel free to DM this account or, uh, you know, our, our info is pretty, pretty out there if you want to talk more deeply. Um, but yeah, you know, there's a lot of really great content cre creators out there in the golf world. And uh, I think one of the key aspects to uh, expanding or potentially working together more fully will be once we open our golf course, right? That's kind of like the big ticket news item that uh, everyone's kind of looking forward to and anticipating. So uh, I would not be surprised if there were some content uh, at some of these outlets that golfers are familiar with uh, once that news hits the airwaves. Yeah, sounds good. Like, yeah, if you could get them out to the course and then create their own video content, that'd be great. I just noticed a, a couple that I follow, I listen to or watch. Um, they've been talking about NFTs lately, and it seems like they're kind of late to the space uh, about NFTs, but I know they're fairly young, so... Just wanted to throw that well, out there. Pink, I love that. If you want to uh, shoot me a DM, uh, either to Coop NFT or the LinkStyle account with uh, those uh, outlets that have been talking about NFTs, I would love to uh, find out and reach out to them and uh, you know expand that conversation and see if we haven't already spoken to those folks. Yes, yeah, sounds great. I appreciate your time. Thanks. Great call. Thank you so much for uh, the, those questions and comments. All right. Well, uh, any other questions, feel free to raise your hand. We are super excited. And it looks like Jordan's back. Yeah, I just wanted to say sorry about the technical difficulty. I figured it out. I'm back. No worries. <laughs> Had some Twitter crash Twitter issues. Spaces. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Um, fantastic. Well, uh, again, if you need more information, if you... Uh, want to shoot a DM, you have any questions, uh, you, you or your organization wants to collab, maybe you want to get some allow list spots uh, for your golf buddies, feel free to reach out, uh, DM the Lynx Dow account, the Lynx Champions account, pop in the Discord. Um, we are going to be continuing to roll out more and more information about this mint, about the story, the mint date, the public pricing, everything else um, as we roll onwards. But Really appreciate you all being here today uh, and all the listeners listening in on the recorded version. Appreciate your support uh, as we move forward with this exciting phase and move towards buying a golf course. Oh, Coop, I got one more thing. Yeah. Hey, if, uh, if this is anybody's first time pre-minting, um, there is a nice little video under the members announcements in the Discord. Uh, so share that with anybody who might be going through this for the first time and uh, make sure that they're, they're all set and they get signed up correctly. I know we've had a couple of people ask questions about that. So the recording just makes it that much easier. Again, members announcements in the discord. Great point there. And shout out to Dom for making that video. That was uh, super great. For sure. Yeah. Cool Good job, Dom. Um, yeah. Thanks y'all. And, uh, feel free to chime in uh, in the Discord DMs, drop a comment. We'll be here all day, all week, uh, and we'll see you on the internet or live at our golf course very soon. So have a great day. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you next time. Woo. Thank, Thank you, everybody. See you all.